Hello to all my friends, how are you guys going? I hope everything's going alright at the moment and you're getting as much sewing and embroidery done as you can. So this week I've got another exciting project to make. It is project number 12 on the beginner course. It is the Folk Heart Tote Bag. And yes, before we start, you can probably notice something a bit different about me. Um, I've had a bit of a shave so I don't look like a bloody caveman anymore. So. Yeah, this is the new look, so I hope you guys like that. But yeah, back onto the bag. And with most of our designs here at Sweepy, we want to bring in a lot of uh, emphasis on your own creativity in making these products. So with this bag, there is two types of blocks that we can make. Um, an applique block or uh, just a, an embroidery block. And then also we have these um, embroidery blocks down for the bottom. But for the two types, that comes with different variations. So there's a lot of variations from these hard blocks that you can make. So it's up to you on um, which ones you want to use, what layout, what color fabrics, and just the standard, um, what thread and things like that that you want to use. So I'm just going to spend the next half an hour um, trying to work out what design I want to gonna, I'm going to do. And staring at this one, I think it's going to be hard to compete with Martin's, but um, I'll give it a go and see if I can get it even looking half as good. So just spend the last 30 minutes um, trying to work out what sort of color scheme I'm gonna go for my bag and um, what fabrics that I wanna use. So I've just been having a quick look around, um, pulling some out with the bag next to it and sort of just working out what I wanna try and do. So I've got a bit of a rough guessment now laid out on the table that I'm about to show you. So this is only just a draft, so um, I've made it so that I can just change the layout however I want pretty easily. So here it is. So I've got my bag just laid out here and then I've just got my fabrics. Um, so with this design I'm going just using two different um, of the blocks, one applique, one embroidery. So I've got my layout here with all the different colours and the thread that I'm going to use. So I've had to play around with my uh, fabrics and I'm happy with the layout so now I'm just going to get um, my prep going so that just means getting it all cut up into the right sizes because I like to be as organised as I can be for when I'm starting so I'm not coming back to the chopping table too much. I've just got a good flow of fabrics ready to get my blocks going and it just definitely makes for a faster build. So I'm back at work after a, the long weekend, so keen to get back into my project. So this week I'll be finishing off my bag and that'll be my last project on the In The Hoop beginner course. So these are my blocks uh, side out, these are my two sides. Um, so the next steps is um, lining, straps and just putting the bag together. Um, so I went a little bit crazy with the colours, just pick just random colors and just, um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I think it paid off. Uh, a little bit of a different style than I'd normally do, but I think it's looking pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get into the straps now and yeah, that's what I'll be doing today.
has gone. So um, I certainly missed a few of the last shots. Um, I got a bit distracted. Cassie and Silvana came over yesterday. Um, it was actually perfect timing because there was a few techniques that I needed Cassie to show me. So yeah, it was good to have her here. Um, that was helping me do the box corners. So they've turned out nice now and I've done my inside lining. So the last step I have to do now is put the lining inside the bag. So that'll be the next few shots that you see. Um, loving learning all these new techniques. Um, and But for now, I'm just gonna try and get this bag finished and get using it. So thanks for watching guys, that's another project done and dusted. I really enjoyed this one, learning all the brand new skills of making a bag. Um, you're probably wondering where it is right now, so without further ado, the bag.